Yo, what's going on guys? It's Sebastian. I'm back again with another YouTube video. And in today's video, this is going to be a long one. I go over all the denim that I have, my entire denim collection. There's a lot to go through. This is going to be a very long video, like I said. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and like. It does help me out. And without further ado, let's get into this long video. With the first pair. This is a pair that I had shown in the last video, or one of my last videos. This is a 517 flared cut denim. It's a classic silhouette, can't go wrong with. It's an orange tab Levi's. I think it was cut, the, the tab on the back, but it is an orange tab. It fits amazing. It is still needs to be worn in quite a bit since I haven't worn them too much. I also like, what I really like about this pair is the rise. It's a really long rise. So you can wear them like high-waisted low and still have like a slouch to them, which is really cool. It's a zippered fly. And just the construction on this pair is everything. I'm probably gonna sound really repetitive because all the jeans are this kind of the same, just you know, I have a lot. So if I get repetitive, my apologies. But yeah, this is the 517. One of my favorite cuts in terms of Levi's, I would say 501s and 517s are gonna be my favorite. 517s are the most versatile because they are flared so they can kind of sit over any shoe perfectly So if you're looking for like denim, I would say start with a 517 because it's not too flared. That's like Like a bell bottom, you know, it's like slightly boot cut, but yeah 517 So we have another pair that I really like this is a darker wash which I don't have too many of. This is the Celine, I think called Crash Denim. I don't know the exact name of these, but I think it's called the Crash Denim. It has these really nice distressing, um, has like all this heel bite. And this is probably one of the darkest pair of denim that I own. Really works in the wardrobe. The only thing with this pair is that the hem is, the inseam is super long. So I think it's like a 34 inseam. So I step on them and I chew up the back of the, the pan all the time when I wear it, but it looks really cool. And I like how these fit, they're super unique. It's a little big on my waist, so I always wear them with a belt, but they're great. Japanese denim has this beautiful like whiskering in the back. The overall details on this pair is just insane, and it came brand new like this, so I can't wait to see how they wear in over time. I think this is a very popular pair of denim. And I'm sure it's still out there. You can probably find it on Braille for not too expensive. But if you are looking for something a little different from like the usual Levi's, this pair I wear a lot with just Converse or boots, but they pair up really well with that. Pretty wide silhouette, so they work with that type of shoes. Over Converse, it looks really sick because it kind of like sits over the entire shoe and the heels kind of drag in the back, which is awesome. So this is one of my 501s, this is a lighter pair. This one has a really long inseam, so I cut open on the interior, the hem. I just cut it with a knife and it sits over boots now because it was a little bit on the skinnier side. This pair is probably one of my lighter pairs. It doesn't really have anything going on, just maybe like a little few distressings on the knee. This is a newer pair from what I know. Um, again, all these pairs, for someone that's looking for denim, I highly recommend going on Grailed or Etsy. Etsy, you can find some more steals. Grailed, you'll find some more curation in terms of what you're looking for. But this is a 501. Really long inseam. The measurements on this one was a 32, 36. Now it fits more like a 30, 34. But it works really well with that, with that slit open. So you can wear them over boots and your sneakers. It looks really cool. So there's that one in the light wash. Next, this is a pair that I picked up in New York. This is probably, this is my only pair of Wrangler denim. Um, this one was the one that was highly distressed, super blown out. The pen is exposed. This one is super worn in and it feels, you can feel it when you wear it. 
the denim is just so thin and that's what I truly love about this vintage denim is that it feels so lightweight and the way it just sits on your body when when it's worn in like this is just like on any other like like no other honestly um, again distressing completely throughout completely tattered and destroyed mangled this pair I'd say this is like a trash pair this is probably like my most distressed pair because I don't love distressing like this but this one just takes the cake so I don't mind wearing it even the back heel hem is just you know split open like that but Wrangler is also a really good brand it holds up really well I just I, very comparable to a Levi's in terms of quality and fit um, this one is a more of a straight cut this pair similar to a 501 but maybe a little bit wider so if you're looking for a wider silhouette I would recommend going with a Wrangler pair of denim um, I don't know the number or anything on it but I'm sure you can find some I'm sure you can find something similar that has it on the back pocket so there's that one so this is a, a really great pair for me this is the vintage I think 70s red line Levi's has that red line there if you guys know what that is it means it was it's higher quality denim and this pair is just beautiful the overall like just fading wash on them is just perfect it, this pair is a 501 it fits amazing um, the wear and just tear on this pair is just super unique of course with a pair of jeans this old um, you're bound to get this beautiful wear like I like I have here so yeah it has really cool details on it the reinforcements on the pockets like that and yeah that's when Levi's was still doing the black stitching on there and yeah this is probably my favorite pair in terms of the wash the wash is super unique I don't know if the camera really captures it super well but if you were here in person you would see that it just has these this beautiful like whiskering throughout the denim that's just really nice this is a day-to-day -day pair this is again one of like maybe my top pairs that I really enjoy to wear a lot Here I have another pair of light wash, light wash denim. This pair is an, a newer Levi's. It doesn't, this isn't pretty, like this isn't vintage. I think it's like 2000s. Again, very light wash. This one I have done some distressing. I don't really love how this pair looks and it also has the raw hem. This I was trying to pair up with a specific pair of boots so I distressed them specifically for that. And this pair I think I got on Grilled. Again, like I said, Grilled or Etsy, kind of the best two for finding denim. But I'll show you how this looks on. Very similar to the other one that has the split hem in terms of wash, but this one fits a little slimmer. What I also recommend if you guys don't already know, not to wash your denim, put it in the freezer wear them a million times and when you you wear them after like a few wears you'll see the difference in the feel of the denim which i think is really important and just kind of the overall fit once it's really worn in they the, i don't i don't even know how to explain it honestly just the denim feels so different and once you wash it you completely ruin that 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 feel for them so yeah little little tidbit there this is a pair of 501s this is an older pair that i used to wear a lot this is too, maybe too small for me now, but again, the wear, this looks a lot like my red line pair. Five of ones, can't go wrong. The whiskering, the details, everything is perfect on this pair. This is just really small. I don't know if it fits anymore because I haven't worn these in so long, but we could try them on. Sizing, with sizing on denim, I usually size up one, one to two sizes and you'll be fine. Um, I like more of a, like a comfortable waist when it comes to denim. And I like comfort overall, so if my if I get them a little bit bigger, it doesn't really affect the fit, except for on the waist. So if you need denim, go size up. So this is a kind of a unique one. This is um, LVC, which is Le Levi's Vintage Collection. I bought these because I this is when I first started getting into denim. I purchased these. These are also red line, as you can see. Um, I bought these for. A crazy amount 
they're not true vintage, they are just handled like a vintage pair. So the quality is amazing, but I've never really worn these. They're always a little small in the waist and they, they look it. This is like a 28 waist, which is way too small for me now. But the overall quality is really good. Again, I would rather, much rather pay the money for a, vin a true vintage pair than an LVC pair. So just keep that in mind. LVC is good quality, don't get me wrong, but you just want the cool, like a true pair of vintage, just buy them off of grail vintage pairs. Another like line that they have that, that makes all these vintage pieces, even jackets and stuff, but better just go vintage, true vintage. Here's a pair of denim carpenters. This is a cool pair that I made. It's a, just a classic pair of Carhartt carpenters, but I put leather on the knees instead of just the denim. This pair fits so good. It's super heavy. It's not ideal for summer right now, spring, summer, but this is just a super cool pair. I really love the details on them. So what I had originally done was get the pair from, again, Grailed. I found a vintage pair. I thought they were perfect. I wore them a few times and I'm like, let me spice them up. And then I got this leather. I think I have the video on my YouTube channel, but this is an amazing pair. I, I wear these with any shoe and it looks great. Converse looks the best with this, but that's kind of what I wear mostly with it. And it's just a classic pair of carpenters. They're really heavyweight because of the leather. The leather is super thick, but they're just amazing. Like the quality on these is just insane. So thanks to whoever wore them before me because they wore them perfectly. Up next, it's the vintage twin pair. This pair I got in New York, and this is the widest silhouette that I have from Levi's. This is a, a 555. If you guys are looking for a wider silhouette that's not too wide, this is like the perfect one. This has a really long hem, so I always like step on it, and it kind of adds like that flair to the denim. This is probably gonna be one of the top pairs that I wear all the time. This one and the 517s that I wear a lot. Um, 555. If you guys don't have them, don't sleep on them. If you're looking for a wider silhouette, they work really well. Up next, I have this super trash pair of denim. This one is from, this one's from Denim Doctors in LA. And of course, super worn in. What's cool about these is that they were able to distress them in person, so they tore them up completely like this. They were a brand new pair of Levi's and they did this, which is super cool. Really unique experience. Again, if you guys have never been, I highly recommend going to Denim Doctors. Yeah, and this is that pair. This is a 501, so you guys know, fit, slim, straight, that's how they fit. This is a bigger size on the waist, but they fit me really well, and I like them. This is the only sometimes that I wear these. I don't wear those too often just because the distressing, the distressing is a lot. Up next, I have this blown out pair. This one's really nice. Has like the ruined bell loop. This is a 501. This is a 33 by 36 on the tag. It says that. It doesn't fit like that, but really nice pair of denim. This one has a longer seam, which stacks up really nice on, on shoes. This pair I don't wear too often, but it is a really nice pair. Again, 501s can't go wrong. I'll show you how those fit now. Up next, I have this pair of 501s. This, one of the homies on Instagram hooked it up with when I bought this necklace. Um, Super nice of him, has a raw hem, kind of some distressing throughout. Nothing too crazy, but these are sick too. Again, you can feel it just by touching the denim, like it's worn and it feels different. So it sits different. I'll show you guys how these fit, but thanks. Shout out to the homie for that. Super nice pair of 501s. Lots of 501s in this collection, clearly. Up next, it sounds very redundant, but again, another pair of 501s. This is a, I think this is a pair that doesn't fit me anymore, 
very simple, slim, slim straight. This is a darker wash on this pair. Has some distressing on the heels, but again, a classic 501. This one is just a little bit darker in comparison to the others, which I like on occasion. So there's that one. I feel like I haven't caught my breath. All right, we're firing through these. This is a super long video. Up next, this is gonna be like kind of the odd box. Is it, is it denim, is it not? These are the cooler ones that I recently got. These are the Our Legacy printed denim. I'm absolutely obsessed with this pair. The fit is phenomenal. The two-tone coloring is just super cool. And yeah, the fit on these is just perfect. They fit me perfectly. This is a 29 waist. I think the inseam is 32 and I just love the overall shape of them. The details on these are amazing. Like I said, it's a printed pair of denim, so all the distressing is not real. It's just a print, but it looks so realistic. You couldn't even tell from even holding it like this. I, it literally looks so realistic. It's so cool that they're still out there on our Legacy's website. Guys, you should pick them up. Okay, for shorts, I only have one pair of denim shorts, which is this pair. This is a pair of Lee denim, similar to the denim jacket that I have, high quality. This is the only pair of Lee pants that I have, but they're super cool. They're really long, they're like the surfer style. Perfect for the summer. This is gonna be the absolute short that I'm gonna wear all summer long. They're really long and they sit right above the knee, which I like. Slouchy silhouette, super cool. Again, this is probably something you can find on Grail. Just you search up Lee vintage denim shorts, shorts, whatever you want to call them, but these are them. So this pair here, this is a pair of Levi's from Redone. If you guys don't know the brand, what they do is basically take denim and upcycle it, repair it, change a few things like the fit or just the sizing or they just do little repairs and then sell it as theirs. The tab is pretty cool, it says redone Levi's like that. And this is just a light wash black pair, super straight cut. Um, the overall wash is really nice. The thing that I don't love about these is that they're kind of tapered at the bottom so they have like this kind of like narrow so I don't wear these too often and they're kind of really thick on the bottom. I don't even know. But the overall wall quality of denim is really great. Of course, it's a pair of Levi's, so it's gonna be good. But the wash and everything, the details are really nice on these. Again, I have another pair of 501s. This is gonna be kind of like a gray, this is gonna be a gray wash. This, is, this pair is super worn in, super beat up, and it's old as hell. When I had originally got when I had originally got these, I had gotten the original hem taken in. So I opened the hem and then I got them, I left the original hem shortened the length. And it literally looks untouched, but it is definitely taken in as you can see there. If you can see. This one has the raw hem. I used to wear these a lot. Um, again, a straight cut 501 with that gray wash to it. These are super unique. Actually, I'll probably start wearing these more because I kind of forgot about them. Here is my most worn pair of denim. This is the 517 black flared, slightly flared Levi's. This is, like I said, my most worn pair. This pair is absolutely everything that I look for when it comes to, to denim. I am so happy that I found these and I wear them literally all the time. I'm like sick and tired of wearing them all the time, but they're just too perfect to not be wearing them as much as I do. But these are them. I'll show you them on. Everyone was asking me, everyone thought I was gatekeeping, but these are, I figured it out, they are 517. So if you're looking for that exact fit, get the 517 in black, it's amazing. These have like about a year wear on them, so they kind of fit a little different. 
they fit kind of tailored to me because of the wear. But like I said, it takes a little bit of time and it's worth the wear time to get them looking like that. And then last but not least, I have my Balenciaga black denim. This is actually a women's pair, it's a uni fit, but it's actually categorized as a women's pair. It has this long rise, super, super wide. I would say like the inseam is, a, I mean the width of the denim is like 10 inches, I would say. And a really good relaxed slouchy silhouette that I really like. This is when I'm not wearing those black 517s. I tend to wear this a lot. Perfect pair, pairs with everything, boots, sneakers, everything looks really good with these. Uh, since they are wider, you do step on them a lot, so there is some heel drag, but those are the Balenciaga Unifit black jeans. If you guys can see the pile that I have, oh, and it fell over. If you guys can see the pile that I have of denim, it's crazy. So, with that being said, that was a long video. I feel like I ran through all that. It was like one cut, but that was a long one. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, follow me at underscore underscore Seabass. I hope you guys liked my entire denim collection. There was a lot. If you guys have a favorite pair of jeans, let me know in the comments below if I don't have them already. If you guys have any recommendations for other videos, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and have a good rest of your day. Bye.